What up, YouTube? It's Cap. Uh, back with another video. Um, this video, I'm gonna be doing a review on the movie uh, One Bedroom on Netflix. Uh, I think it just probably been on it like three days, three four days. But uh, <clears throat> I caught, I watched it last night, so I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts on it. Uh, you already know I got something to smoke. So if y'all got something to smoke, smoke with me. Uh, hope everybody having a good day. Uh, hope everything going good for everybody. Uh, everything going good with me, I can't complain. But uh, but yeah, uh, but yeah, I really uh, enjoyed the movie. It was a really good movie. Uh, it's about a girl who moves into an apartment complex and uh, you know, everything seems normal, everybody seems normal. And she finds out that you know, people kind of crazy, whatever. It's kind of like a cult or whatever. So it's real intense. The, uh, the acting's real good. Uh, I think the actress name is Nicole Bloom. Well, I thought she did a real good job. Um, I know, I kind of see them making a, uh, like a, uh, what you call it? Damn, I forgot what you call it, uh, when they make a lot of movies, uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, it's a real good movie. So if y'all looking for something to watch and y'all into like, it's like a thriller. You know what I'm saying? So, it's good from the, it, I mean, it keeps your attention the whole movie, so <clears throat> there's really no dull parts or whatever, but, like, I recommend it. I thought it was a really good movie, so, I might watch it again, I don't know. I ain't gonna lie, uh, I had cut it off at first, because I thought it was gonna be, like, one of those, like, torture movies, like, where you just... Something like hostile, like I ain't gonna lie, I cut it off because I they ain't I can't watch no movies like that where they like torturing people. So But nah it's it's not nothing like that, so so if anybody like me don't like torture, I ain't really gotta worry about that. It ain't too bad. But but yeah, good movie. Uh one bedroom on Netflix. That's my review on it. I know my reviews probably ain't. You know, I don't be wanting to give away, like, the movie or whatever. So I'll be trying to be careful without telling y'all the movie. So I really just want to let y'all know how I thought, what I thought about it. If it's something feels good to watch. <clears throat> so, but. I probably uh tonight I'm gonna look for something else to watch. Uh, Cause if y'all anything like me, I'm like if I see a new movie and I'm kind of like skeptical about watching it or see if but it doesn't look like it might be good or whatever, I always go to YouTube and check out reviews first. Like they got one guy, man, I forgot his name. Uh, his name Chris something. He do movie reviews. I always check his channel out to see. Um, uh, I don't know if y'all, I'm sure everybody's seen the preview by now if you're a fan, but they got a new Batman coming out. Uh, old boy from Twilight playing it. Uh, I forgot his name. It look, it looked like he, uh, he might pull it off. It looked the the uh, trailer was really good, so. Man, I forgot his name. But y'all know he was the uh, main character in Twilight. The vampire. But I'm excited to see that one, so. I forgot. Oh, it's, they didn't say when it comes. It just comes out next year. So that's definitely something I'm going to see. Like, out of all the... Uh, 
like superhero movies, Batman's always been my favorite. Even though I, you know, I enjoy Marvel movies more than I would like DC movies, but when it comes to Batman, like I'm always like, I've always been a Batman fan. I think <clears throat> Christian Bale's played the best Batman. Before him, I thought, I like the, uh, before him, I thought Michael Keaton was like, he was always like my original Batman. I know he wasn't the original Batman, but for me growing up, he was like the first Batman that, that I noticed, like saw playing Batman. But I also like Val Kilmer, I thought he was a good Batman. So I'm excited to check that one out. Still waiting on The Quiet Place. They said that's gonna be next year. So. <clears throat> My sister, she's in uh, California. So she's uh, she picking up, she's bringing me a couple of uh, pins uh, back. So I'm gonna review those when she gets back. I think she got one, uh, forgot the name of the brand but it's a granddaddy perp so she's bringing that back she's probably gonna bring some edibles or whatever so me and her gonna get a video out for y'all one of those because that's really what i started my channel for i really wanted to review like like you know dispensary like different type of green or whatever but when you don't live in a place where it's like recreational or even medical it's like it's like hard to get it so but when she gets back I'll review that for y'all we'll make a, get a couple videos out for y'all reviewing whatever she brought back so and I'll, <clears throat> I'll probably catch a movie Watch something tonight and give y'all a review on it. I'll just be trying to give y'all something like to, some suggestions on what to watch. Because if you like me, I just like, I go on Netflix. Like every time I go on, it's like I really can't find them to watch. So, but One Bedroom was really good. So, if y'all into thrillers and intense movies. That would be something to watch. I'm sipping wine. But yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, like I say, I, uh, I don't know if I said it at the beginning, but I hope everybody doing good. I hope everybody having a good day. Um, everything's been going good with me. Um, uh, thanks for all the support and the views on my uh, videos, the likes, um, comments. I appreciate all that. Y'all always welcome. Leave comments. Let me know. Uh, you know, cool. Just leave a comment. I appreciate everything, and uh, <clears throat> I'll catch y'all on the next video.